Imagine a future where every young Ghanaian has the skills to innovate, create and lead in the tech-driven world. IT for Youth Ghana is making this future a reality. Established in 2023, IT for Youth Ghana is a non-profit organisation empowering young Ghanaians through accessible, high-quality tech education. Our mission is to equip youth, especially women, with skills for successful careers, innovation and entrepreneurship in the tech industry. At IT for Youth Ghana, we believe technology is the gateway to financial freedom and to economic development in Ghana and Africa. We started in 2023 and since then our belief and our mission has been to empower the Ghanaian youth, especially girls, in technology and innovation. Our initiatives, firstly. Tech Outreach Programme. Through our Tech Outreach Programme, we visit schools across Ghana, introducing young minds to technology's transformative potential. So far, we've impacted over 800 students in 20 schools. Um, the old me could not locate numbers and letters properly on a keyboard, but now I'm able to type fast and also develop some platforms. I'm now familiar with some of the languages and actually, yeah, I'm beginning to like it and it's good, the JavaScript, HTML, CSS, then you have also the Python. IT for Youth Ghana is really helping the young ones and the ladies as well. Learning IT at IT for Youth Ghana has helped me learn how to type fast, learn a little bit about coding, and I've learned languages like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Initiative 2 Youth Digital Empowerment. Our six-month flagship program annually trains over 250 youth in programming, web development and graphic design, complemented by hands-on internships. Currently, we are training the students in front-end web development, teaching them three programming languages, that is HTML, CSS and JavaScript, and as well as we taught them how to code in Python, but our main focus is the front end so that at least we'll be able to uh, do com uh, responsive websites when they leave our program or our training. I'm not really into the um, into IT that much, but the IT for Youth Ghana has provided a platform where I can express myself through learning web development designing. So yeah. Initiative 3, Girls in Tech Programme. With 40% female enrolment, we bridge the gender gap in technology by creating safe and inclusive spaces for girls to thrive. For the last two weeks, I've had a chance to observe IT for Youth Ghana in action. And I've just been so impressed by seeing what a meaningful impact they're having on the lives of so many young people here in Accra. In a country like Finland or Scandinavia at large, all of Europe, you could say even all of West, Technology, of course, by this point, by 2024, permeates the entire fabric of society and makes all the systems and industries work way faster, way more easily and way more effectively. It is crucial that the youth of Ghana, that the youth of Africa, are also allowed and provided the opportunity to become competent in these tools, with these skills, as a way forward. Initiative 4 – Coding and Programming Competition Our annual programming competition challenges students to develop innovative solutions to societal problems, with winning projects receiving funding and mentorship. I'm Abraham, currently taking part of Code Impact. My project is about educational hub. This website helps students in their academic, their academic journey. I'm Imano, currently taking part in Code Impact Challenge. And I'm having a project that's telehealth, which helps users to interact with health professionals and get quality health by having virtual consultation with health professionals. Initiative 5 Advocacy. We raise awareness about the importance of tech education and digital inclusion through workshops, events, and partnerships. If you look at Africa and in Ghana, a lot of people are not involved in technology. Yes, we have technology adoption where people accept that we need to have some level of technology going on, but most people are not having a lot of hands-on and technical skills when it comes to technology. 
And so we realized that we have only about 30% of Ghanaians that are involved in various tech fields. And looking at the dynamics of various industries, if you are not having tech skills, there's going to be difficulty with you finding a job and even establishing an entrepreneurship. In my time with IT for Youth Ghana, I've gotten to observe firsthand the amount of care, dedication and effort that is going into the education of the young people in Ghana. Initiative 6. Infrastructure support for rural communities. We provide underserved communities with IT infrastructure ensuring equal access to technology for learning and growth. We have been able to conduct workshops in 20 junior and senior high schools, touching about 800 students. Our focus is to make sure a lot of Ghanaians, not only those in Accra or the urban centers, but also the rural areas, those that are not even having access to technology, to be able to go through most of this training and take advantage of the digital world. Through IT for Each Ghana, We've been able to impact a lot of lives. We have centers across the country whereby we are, we are training all the students. So currently we have about 100 student, students we've trained so far in programming and coding. Every three months, IT for Youth Ghana celebrates the achievements of its participants with a graduation ceremony. On this day, students present and defend their individual projects, showcasing their creativity and skills. Certificates are awarded to all participants and prizes are given to the best projects in the competition challenge. I, I had a laptop but I was not good at it because I only knew how to... I even couldn't locate the numbers and letters properly. Now I've been able to develop a habit of typing fast and I've also been able to develop... Um, I'm developing a platform now which seemed impossible when I was at home, but now I can do it and I don't even know how. Our programs are changing lives. From young coders launching startups to women re-entering the workforce with digital skills, IT for Youth Ghana's impact is profound. I see nothing but a bright future for this organization and I'm so excited about the potential that they will fulfill. We can't do this alone. Join us in transforming Ghana's future. Your support will help expand our programs, reach underserved communities, and build a digitally literate generation ready for the global tech market. Technology is really accessed by a majority of the populace, but if IT for Youth Ghana is supported, we could reach rural parts of the country and then we could enable most majority of the youth to engage in technology. We want firms to come in and support IT for Youth Ghana, partner with us, let's touch a lot of Ghanaians, Let's expand our reach to rural areas, support us with funds, with resources like laptops, computers, so we can donate to various schools in rural areas and um, libraries in rural areas, so Ghana can benefit from the revolution of technology. Are you a student, parent or school looking to benefit from our programs? Reach out to us. Together, we can build a brighter future. IT for Youth Ghana, empowering youth, transforming lives and building a tech-driven future.